So this is the Prochi 2 to 6 newton meter torque adapter. The brand Prochi, I know it looks like Prochieve, but it's actually P-R-O-C-H-I. If you're trying to Google it, it's Prochi. Prochi is a brand, one of many brands, owned by a company called Kaichi out of Japan. So Prochi is a Japanese brand, Kaichi is a Japanese company, but this isn't made in Japan. Slocky is a brand owned by Jamor International Corp. Slocky is manufactured in Taiwan. So Slocky is the manufacturer. This is manufactured in Taiwan. So let's just look at the text here. It's a torque sleeve. Sleeve, I think, is the word it's looking for, not sleep. And these are pretty much just warnings. Uh, there's no real instructions that come with this product. I had some questions about this product and I couldn't find any additional documentation for it. But where I did find some documentation on this product, this variable torque sleeve, is when I decided to go in search of the inch pound version of this. And I'll put affiliate links to all these products. This one I got in the USA, Amazon USA, by Fixit Sticks all-in-one torque driver. This one says that it is made in Taiwan, okay? And this one is a little bit different. Very similar, you can see the similarities and the differences here. The nice thing that Fix-It Sticks did was they included a small instruction pamphlet that answered one of my questions, which was, can I loosen with this? Do not attempt to rotate collar by hand. Do not exceed 65 inch pounds. This is a little over seven Newton meters. Do not turn counterclockwise or use to loosen a fastener. I was wondering if these products had a physical hard stop so that I could loosen the fastener and then use the same tool to tighten it without having to change tools. Particularly when I'm adjusting things on the handlebars of a bike. I just wanna loosen a nut, I wanna adjust the angle of the brake lever, and then I wanna just go back in and torque it down. So I got the answer from Fix It when I bought this. I didn't know that this pamphlet was going to be in there. These are a very interesting alternative to these preset style torque limiters. And of course with these presets, you gotta buy a whole set, you know, and these are about 20 to $30 a piece. So you, you rack up an assortment of these and you've got a lot of money invested in these. This also is manufactured by Slocky. So Annex, Japanese brand, is working with Slocky, Taiwan brand, Taiwan manufacturer, I'm trying to find out if this adapter has the same warning about loosening. So the Annex has a warning at, on note two here. I, I, th I think what they're saying is, is that there's a risk of damaging the torque limiter if you're removing a fastener and it goes over a certain amount of torque, you can, you can damage the torque limiter. I think that's what this is saying. And it makes sense. I mean, you don't want, you really don't want to use these for removing fasteners. Main difference between a torque limiter like this Annex is that you can put them in a power tool and they will free spin when they get over the 1.7 preset torque. Okay, when it gets to the torque point, it just free spins. These are both adapters, bit adapters, so they go down to a quarter inch hex, and we put a bit in there, and then they're driven in different ways. The fix-it stick in inch pounds is the quarter drive hex, and the Prochi, which is in Newton meters, is a quarter drive socket. I have a whole bunch of these, 
adapters. I just found one and I cut it off and polished it up for the YouTube video. And now that goes in there nicely without stacking ridiculously high. Okay, so that's what I've got going on there. Here, let's do this. Let's take an Annex 1.4. All right, so then we've got this and I've got my PB Swiss handle. So this should go 1.4 Newton meters. Okay, and there's the torque limiter. So it seems pretty accurate even at the low numbers. So let's set the, the Vera. Let's set this to six. All right, so there's five. And there is six. So this is the maximum. And that's right on. four newton meters, so that's really good. So then, so this would be three. So at the higher end of its range, it looks to be dead on. Let's just check the fit sticks against the Vera A5. And we will set the Vera A5 to 7.3. All right, we'll use this Vera adapter. It's right on. Okay. Let me just make one point about this adapter that I used. All right, so this is the Vera 784A-1, and the sleeve pulls forward to release. Problem with that in this case is, is that because this is so short, it doesn't actually lock on here. You can put insert bits in this. Everything, everything is going to fit in there just fine. It's got a magnet. It's holding those in there. This is how the Asian anvil fits in there. And of course, on the fix-it sticks, it's the same. And on the annex, it's very deep. So do not put a bit this size in here because it will completely sink into this. I'll spend an afternoon using these to remove this from the end of this. Let's just take a look at other fit. So this is the PB Swiss. You know, it's a bit of a strain because this isn't very long. It is a bit of a strain at the top end of it, but it's not bad. While we're on that subject, let's put the FACOM rotary ratchet on there. Okay, that, that doesn't have any problem getting to 65. The quarter drive for a Cyclop is going to be even easier because you've got a longer handle on there. Okay, what's this one like? Okay, the Vera works. So the Vera T-handle, that works pretty good on this. And this locks on here appropriately. Okay, that's great. And of course, this is gonna work just fine. This is a KTC T handle. The thing I like about the KTC is, is that they put a detent on the ends and in the middle so that this doesn't slide around. And then this is the extension out of my Zyklop set. And of course that, that's 
really good. And of course, this is really easy to use with those torque adapters. No surprises there. Okay, so, and then if we're going to use the Prochi, we'll have to use the Vera 870-1. You know, this one is nice because it doesn't add so much extra bulk to a stack of adapters. Then this fits on the Prochi. So, so now we've got, so this Prochi, it's, it's accurate. You cannot loosen items with it. You cannot exceed six Newton meters. So it's the responsibility of the user of the tool to stay within the limits of this product. And because of the way that it's designed as an adapter, you might need adapters for the adapter. So keep that in mind. Okay, so that was a look at a few different types of torque limiters and torque adapter sleeves. I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.